Oh, yes, Mzanzi, as promised, this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. The conversation's about to get heated up, and we're about to witness the might of Western Cape's under-12 baseball champions. Yes, you heard correctly. Now, with a decade of dominance under their belts, this team, comprised of talent from across the region, recently clinched a victory at the National Championships in Obecha. Now they're setting their sights on Poland's Little League with their journey kicking off this July. And here to chat to us is Coach Nal. Nelson Mapika and the players who are involved in this incredible result. We've got Blake Kluter, Jordan Mart, and Slade Seller in the building. Mzanzi, let's put our hands together for these champions! Yes! Incredible, guys! I want to I wanna hit it straight to the kids, Nelson. I know you put a lot yeah, of effort into this, idea. but Jens, this is amazing. What do you think is the reason why you did so well at this competition? Any, any ideas why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we... we... We're very skilled and talented, and we, we look forward to helping other people and helping our teammates to get better. Oh, I love that, Slade. Thank you so much for coming with you with that answer. And Slade, maybe you don't mind me asking you, what position do you actually play in the team? I play every position. Every position? Is that quite similar for you as well, Blake? Uh, yes. Jordan? Yeah, you yes. guys will play all positions? Yes. Jordan, you? Um, pitcher and shortstop. Ah, and okay. Second. But regardless, you guys have quite a bit of talent amongst you because you've done incredible things. Coach, congratulations, man. This is incredible stuff. What do you think is the reason, not only for the championship result, but the fact that it seems like 10 years, a decade of results has been under your guys' belt. This is phenomenal stuff, to say the least, considering the talent we have in our country. What's the reason for this, though, man? Uh, thank you uh, for having us, guys. You know, uh, I think uh, it has to do with uh, the hard work that we are putting down as coaches, in the sense, uh, the administrators as well. Mm. Not just in Cape Town, but uh, in Western Cape as a whole, in the sense. So, um, the program that we have in place, uh, you know, for these boys is uh, really, really magnificent. Yeah. Yeah, and for you, James, uh, Jordan, how long have you been playing this game for, actually? Seven, six years. Seven, six years, okay. You started when you were quite young, right? Blake and yourself? Uh, six years. Six years. Same for you? Ten years. Ten years, wow. Okay, Slade, ten years. So you guys have a lot of experience. Coach, is that possibly another reason as to why you're seeing results like this? Do you think the approach to developing talent like this requires a lot of time and skill development behind it? Yeah, it does, because like we do have under ten league in the sand. So you find out that kids that are eight, nine, ten, they are playing at the younger age already. So as soon as they go up to under 12, you can actually see the, uh, the results that are actually starting to show up. So yeah, that's the okay. reason why, yeah. And, and, and Blake, maybe I can ask you this one. I, I struggled when I was a kid. Going up against events and competitors at big stages like this, how do you deal with the pressure? How do you know that, okay, I'm, I'm nervous, there's a big moment coming up, but I've got to show up, I've got to deliver. How do you deal with that moment and not let the nerves take over? Uh, um, I will just face, I'll just face it, and like, so I'll, I'll just go, go in the batter's box and face, and if I get the walk, then I'll be free. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Jordan, is it quite a nerve-wracking thing? Uh, you, you said you're a pitcher, right? So there's a lot of pressure on you having to try and get these guys out. Do you feel that pressure or are you just having fun when you're out there? I have fun sometimes, but if I have like a bad day, and I get angry. You get angry? <laughs> I, I feel that. What do you do when you get that anger, though? Because obviously the game's got to go on and we still got to sometimes be able to play and sift through that anger. How do you deal with it? I'm asking these questions, guys, because there's a lot of kids watching and I think they're very inspired by what you do and they're trying to replicate your success. So, you know you are champions, right? So, Jordan, that's why I'm asking these questions. How, how do you deal with that anger? Because I think a lot of kids actually go through that. Any tips? Any, just, just breathe, maybe? <laughs> I take breaths huh? and then I like take breaks like in between. Okay, and you've got your mates around you to also keep you calm. That's what t teamwork's about. I, li I like that. <laughs> I, I got to know these questions because I'm, I'm, I want to learn from you young superstars. But on top of this, I want to learn how you're going to approach this next challenge. You've now smashed nationals. We're heading to Poland. This is a big, big competition. You're going to represent us across the world. How are you going to take this challenge on, coach? What's the plans for this one? Uh, look here, we're just going to play like how we played at the uh, national championship. You understand? Like, for example, you, uh, you pitched in the semi-finals versus uh, Khao Deng. You know, you, uh, you pitched very well, you understand? So, um, we really don't know which teams that we're going to be facing that side. We, uh, we are prepared to take whatever's going to come in our way. 
you know, um, this is a big um, step for these boys in the sense to go then play uh, in front of, uh, let's say, 20, 30,000. That is, uh, here in South Africa, we we'll never see such a thing in the sand. So um, we are ready. Uh, we have been preparing, I think, for the past three months now. Uh, I think, yeah, the boys are going to go there and have fun and actually going to represent South Africa as a whole as well. Oh, I love that, guys. And I'm, again, I must say congratulations. I'm absolutely proud of you. Slade, I'm going to ask you one last question because it seems like you've got all the answers, man. I can see over there. There's a lot of kids that possibly, after seeing what you've done, maybe want to play the game as well. What advice or what skills do they need to do to maybe get involved in baseball and maybe do what you guys are doing right now? Any yes. advice? You just have to train every day. You don't, have, you don't have to be forced to train every day. Or you just have to go to club training. When you're done with club training, do some training at home. Or just throw the ball against the wall and learn how to do some pickups. So, sounds like keep having fun and keep working, right? Yeah. Oh, Slade's a man of most of them. I must tell you, Coach, you've got some incredible boys under your wing. Thank this you is talent much. at its finest. I want to say congratulations, Jens. You are just getting started, and I feel like you are champions that are going to do such incredible things as long as you keep working, like Slade said. Now, we're not stopping here because I'm Zanzi, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be put through my paces from these incredible talents over here to see why they are actual champions and uh, if I can hold my paces up against them. So we're not gonna say goodbye just yet. We'll see you later. But for now though, we're heading to the kitchen and filling our bellies before we get into action mode. <laughs>